This is Tower Baron, and this is the best of the Gankbush Squad show episodes 51 to 100. In the first clip from episode 55, Byron talks about his recent surgery and Grizzly ranks the Gankbush Squad hosts from his favorite to least favorite. So, how is your hots about your poetry? Uh, well, my hots is about as good as my poetry, which has been non existent lately. So, <laughs> why is that? Um, just reasons, you know. Reasons and things, you know, I just, I'm still recovering from my penis enlargement surgery. I see. Oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, how big you, you know. go? How much you go for? <laughs> Too uh, much well, girth? Didn't know how to see, wield it? Yeah, I, I first I tried to go to like a, you know, like a 20-foot 20, 20 one, but I, I was starting to get back problems, so I had to have them scale it back a little bit. <laughs> and it sucks also having to walk around with the Sounds wheelbarrow. Sounds legit. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it was like carrying a fire hose everywhere I went, so, you know. <laughs> take it down a notch whenever you get aroused you get lightheaded <laughs> <laughs> but anyways so here's here's Grizzly's review I consume everything hot related Gankbush is by far the best podcast it has the perfect blend of information and personality they make an effort to interact with the listeners I did all of them even Scott <laughs> <laughs> thought I yeah get that's power. right yeah and so he also turns his he also then turns it on us by saying, I thought I'd give a little power of ranking of hosts. So you know how we rank the heroes? He ranks the hosts from best to worst. Best oh. is Fringe, then Bacon, then Old Bullshit. Then then Scott, then Tower Baron, and last but not least is Byron, the token nerd. <laughs> yes, I'm not last. I am the worst. Wow. I am not last. <laughs> oh, ah, damn. Well. Most uh, hated man on the podcast. Oh, oh this, this is why I have to get penis enlargement surgery. <laughs> I love that self-esteem. Yeah. The next clip is from episode 56 where Fringe talks about his favorite movie. No, I'm old school Chinese, dude. I'm not going to spend my money. So I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to hoard it. <laughs> there will be no spending money. Yeah, yeah, and give it to like my grandkids, maybe. <laughs> they'll, they'll spend it, though. Yeah, probably. Because... Yeah. Because they'll be American. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm American too. Yep, You're old school it. Chinese. You talked about. You, you just said about. you were old school Chinese. School you can't Chinese have it both ways. Wait, wait. Yeah. Old school Keeping Chinese my is country like. Back. Hey, you, you can have Facebook. I can have old school Chinese. How about that? Yeah. Matt Keeping was out there building back. the railroads in America. <laughs> he was more American yeah. alongside the Irish and the freedmen. Yeah, <laughs> and like I was in, I was interned in the. Uh, the, the <laughs> in the in the desert for like a year too. Oh man! No one talks about those that. Are, shit. Those are some those are some harsh. Everyone talks about that constantly. Are you kidding me? What? The internment? Constantly. I, yeah. Right. Like like, like, like George Ta- like George Ka- George like George Takai has ever shut up about that. Well, that's Japanese internment. It's different. Well, he kind of he kind of he, he was alive for that. It's different. And how 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 popular is that guy? No one cares about that guy. Yeah, no he was not only alive, he George lived through it. Was, George the Kite was in the camp. Yeah. 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 yeah and, he, and he likes you to know it too, doesn't he? He was there. <laughs> he doesn't fucking yeah. talk about how fucking rich this country made him subsequently, now does he? Well, he had talent. <laughs> he worked hard and he had talent. <laughs> yeah, he does. I'm just saying. Really, like my favorite movie of all time is uh, Big Trouble in Little China. And it's on yeah. Netflix. It's streaming online, so you can watch it right now. And it's really awesome. It has, it has I Kurt watched Russell. it last week. Yeah, right? Amazing. Yeah. Kurt yes. Russell's oh, hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, the reason why I saw it as a kid, I must have been like eight years old when I first saw it. And the reason why I loved that movie so much is because at the end of that film, the Asian guy gets a white girl. Up to that point, mm-hmm. I never saw anything like close to that. I thought, like, what the fuck is that? Why is that guy getting that girl? That doesn't make any sense. I was like, oh, shit, it is possible. So, oh man! Yeah, Matt. Matt here is talking about how uh, uh, he's he values the white girl higher. Look at this guy! Oh, a little reverse racism going on against your own people. <laughs> man, my uh, trust me, it's been uh, my, my thoughts about the attractive level of Asian women in general are, are uh, very well known. That they're on me. record on this podcast, I believe. Yeah. No, no, they're yeah. aliens. They're they're gross aliens. But anyway. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Well, <laughs> oh. technique. All right, all right. What about Facebook?
Facebook didn't suck my balls. Yeah, true that. Balls. I use Facebook to find out if women are dating people. That's and what everyone uses Facebook for. That's pretty much what Facebook <laughs> is for. Uh, I yeah, use I, then I usually <laughs> disregard it. Yeah. Yeah, I look those so little post feet, baby pictures. Yeah. yeah, if I see a girl that's like dating someone, I, I just unfollow them. But I'm still friends with them, so I don't see their shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I see. I want to see their shit because if the relationship hits the rocks, I want to be there to nice. you know, be rebounded on. <laughs> David's ready to swoop in. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a vulture. Yeah. No shame, the rebound boy. He doesn't care. Dear yeah. diary, jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> The next two clips are from episodes 59 and 60, where Bacon tells us a new way on how to die from alcohol poisoning. If I, if I only had to pick one beverage, it'd be wine, because it's I like it more. Oh, my. But yeah, if, you, if you're at BlizzCon, you'll, be, you'll see me drink beer, though. I'm pretty sure of it. In my, in, in my I'm certain that I will see you drink beer. Yes, and I'll be having my... Gonna, uh, yes? Are you going to bring any wine? Maybe, I don't know. To educate me in the ways <laughs> of the vine? <laughs> Well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. We can definitely do. We can definitely work on that outside outside of the podcast. So, but um, all right, outside let, the pod. All right, let's uh, let's do wine, the uh, bring some tampons. Have a weird night. <laughs> oh God, butt plugs. All right, wait, wait, uh, wait. What are we gonna do with the tampons? Plugs. I actually don't know if anything sexual to do with the tampon. I know they go in a vagina, but I mean, like, <laughs> no, you just... soak you soak it with alcohol and stick it up your. Oh, 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 you're talking about some deviant way of in- imbibing liquor. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> All right. I thought yeah, you were a good, saying good, that... Uh, a good way to die from wine, alcohol poisoning, by the way. And that the use of the wine was going to cause Matt and I to make love. No, that will never happen. No, oh, what? <laughs> I was not thinking I that I thought that's all. what he was implying. Right. <laughs> no, you may be able to get a reach around, but that's about it. So, but uh... oh, baybe. <laughs> what about the Matt's trombone? Been learning how to play the trombone. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I was <laughs> you guys are sick. All right, well, but uh... all right. Oh, man. baby. Oh, baby. So you know, I, I play mostly for fun. Me and uh, Scott are more kind of like oil and water. So. In terms of what we get out of the game, for me, it's, it's been a big plus. In Scott's defense, he likes winning. <laughs> well, for me, that's not the main objective. <laughs> <laughs> nice defense there, Dan. <laughs> yeah. It's a game, guys. What are games for? Winning. So, it's a way of showing <laughs> your uh, oh, that. dominance oh, okay. over another that's what the game is. Asserting <laughs> dominance over Trying to get yeah. into a situation where you can teabag the other player. That's, well, that's, what, that's what the sprays come in. Exactly. Yeah. That's what the spray is for. <laughs> like when you're, the the core, you're at their core, taking their core down, you start spraying the ground. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> the next few clips are from the infamous bet that Scott foolishly made with Tower Baron, saying that he couldn't get above Silver 1 in Hero League. You got a wager or anything on that, right uh, Scott? Let's wager it. Care for a little wager? Uh, I'll uh. Oh, you know, not so confident now. It's about to get interesting. He said, "I'll uh." I want to know what the uh is before there's any accusations thrown. Okay. I'll bet. I'll bet you fifty bucks that you won't make it above uh, silver two. I'll go with that because you might be able. He's to go. made it to silver one before, right? He's I've made it to made, gold, hasn't he? No, I've made it to silver two. It's yeah, okay, so not, not within, not within like his whole uh like placement matches in within a few games after that and getting his MMR up through quick matches and whatever. All right, it's on. How many games does he have to do it? Yeah. I'll give him 20 games in um 20, that's Euro it. League. 20. No, what what just, about just you, what you about got just, you got all the quick match games to go and get your MMR up before you even enter Hero League. Well, how am I going to get my MMR up if I'm like low silver already? Your new account. This you mean you, you get your? Yeah, it's a new account. My my Smurf account doesn't have any Hero League games, but if I went in there right now and placed, I could guarantee with the amount of games I'd probably end up somewhere in platinum because I don't have like that many games played. Twenty games, huh? It seems like it's not enough, but uh, what that's about twenty uh, Hero just... League games? You can play as many quick match and unranked draft games as you want to inflate your MMR before you enter <laughs> the Hero League pool. <laughs> so, so Scott, you're giving him a permission to game the system entirely. 
my point is he's not gonna he's gonna end up where he is right now. He's not gonna change. <laughs> Why well, just give me uh sixty hero league games to do it then? Because he doesn't want to give you time and incentive. And... Yeah. Baron Tower, unranked draft, <laughs> platinum, twenty two hundred MMR, quick match, diamond, twenty four sixty two. Mm, that won't last. Overall win yeah, percentage twenty four. That's not a, that's, I don't think that's a big enough buffer, man. <laughs> Uh, it says Maybe. Uh, win percentage, 59.5%. Yeah, that'll drop yeah. off pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, we have a uh, someone who uh, made it to gold in his, uh, on his uh, Smurf account. Who would that be? And that is uh, Tower Baron. Oh, who's, who's calling in me? from uh, oh, oh, I didn't <laughs> San Diego, know. California. Yeah. I think there's a little something wrong with that little emblem at the bottom of my... Screen there it looks like a oh yes figurine or something. I don't know. If the, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh okay, I can't okay, see, Dan. See that color. You earned this moment. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So for there those of you, um, so for yeah. those of you, uh, Tower Baron has been our residential uh, bronze type player, but he decided to create a Smurf account called Baron Tower, and he just finished his placements and he got placed into uh, Gold Four. How does yes. it feel? How does it feel? Well, first of all, there was more than just behind all this than just me wanting to test myself on a Smurf account. There was a little wager involved with this this challenge. Hold uh, on, let me play your victory song while you're doing this. <laughs> long time, long time. Sucky, okay. sucky, fucky, fucky one. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of hard to talk over that. <laughs> all right, go ahead. But there was a little wager by Scott, I think, mentioning that I wouldn't be able to get even past silver one or two. Dude, it doesn't matter. I got gold. So <laughs> Scott said he would pay for all my drinks at BlizzCon at the first week of November if I made it past silver one or two. And as the screenshot shows, gold four. Yeah. Drunk time at BlizzCon. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Five months to uh, cheese your account. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, said it couldn't be done, but it was done. So, but let's get uh, Scott's thoughts on all this. I mean, he did nothing to. Not even a thank you. Not even congratulations. The original. No congratulations. (laughs) You played completely different. And you said you said you said said, I don't care whatever you do. You're not going to get above gold or silver. You won the bet. You have to first give it to him that he yeah. fulfilled the terms of the bet and then say what you want. He, I'll give it to him. He, he cheesed the, uh, wow. cheesed the no, bet. Ho- no honor. <laughs> what? No are, honor. You ki- are you kidding me? He said, like, yeah, I, I improved my Vala play along the way. He had, like, five months to improve his game to get these placements. <laughs> said it didn't matter. So that's, 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 the, that's what you set it up as. <laughs> I've been playing two years before you that, said, and you said you, I've stayed the same level. You're not going to get any better. So what's this five months thing have to do with anything? Yeah, Scott, you said you will never touch the gold <laughs> ranking. I don't think you're too bad for that. It wasn't even five it months. It was like two months or something. It was five months. Two months? All right, you got to be kidding me. This bet was 16. made like back in like spring. You see this? You see this, Scott? You gotta. These are your words. You gotta take it up and eat it. Okay. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your Everybody mouth. Gets lucky oh. once in a while. <laughs> the next series of clips are from episode 69, which in my opinion was one of our best episodes. All right, let's go ahead and intru- let's go ahead and introduce our uh, AI slash shit. I can't even say that anymore. Slash AI player slash David, who's calling oh, in from Orange oh, County, I California. See. Orange. It's pronounced. It's because it's a French territory. Hang on. Okay. Uh, uh, hang on. Okay. I think we're good. Are we good? Uh, I don't. I don't know. You tell me. Try. Wave Rejoin your hands around. Hole. Let me see if I can oh. see your video. Nope. No. No. no that, you dropped that. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe we'll just edit David out entirely. <laughs> Mid scream. <laughs> Am I good? I think I'm good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> awesome. All right. It's 69 Magic. That's why. 69 yeah. Magic. Uh-huh. That's why he's on the ball. That'd be a good name for the ball. Do you have a boner? He's got a boner. He's got to have a boner. Ability. 
Well, I am drinking a pineapple beer, so uh, my uh, fluids will taste better. <laughs> what? Ooh, nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me how you got taste. somebody besides yourself. <laughs> when you to taste, taste it, fluids. is that what you're saying? A self tasting is going to happen? No, later? no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, fun fact about the slimy texture hasn't changed since my last <laughs> testing. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, I like, burns, uh, but I have too much of it. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, about six, seven years ago, I actually did consulting work for Dave Cummings, the oldest living porn star, male porn star. And I did some work for him, and uh, they drink all the males drink pineapple juice all the time. And he told you know. because because I was working for him. I was a, I was a contractor for him. I was helping him out. Okay, yeah, this guy's real. He has a website. Okay, yeah, why did he so. tell you? Why did he tell me what? You drink pineapple juice. I went over his house and he's drinking pineapple juice constantly. My mother was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. And then he told me about. You know, his work. And then that's pretty much it. Pineapple juice and asparagus, just to balance it out. Well, that, uh, 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 that sounds so good. It's gross. like a tangy, savory. Pre- it was a preview, Pat. It was a tease. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a tease. Okay. A 69 tease. Oh, God. Oh, everyone knows that if you tease in a 69, you got nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I dude. got plenty of places to go. I don't know. We're so do. classy. For yeah. uh, for all the males under the age of thirty, tasteful. When in doubt, take it out. That's all I gotta <laughs> say. All right, so whip it out. Well, and that's out. why <laughs> makes it more that's why Matt's not allowed within a hundred yards of a school. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> much. Just in case anyone missed that, that was a sex offender joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they got that, Dave. <laughs> Did they? No. Well, I don't know. Who knows? No one's listening anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right. So it's oh, uh, <laughs> self-deprecation. Oh, for sure, the Nexus trolls are listening. Mm-hmm. And Revolver is too in Vietnam. All right. Let's. Yeah, uh, most of the revolvers of Vietnam we brought there. <laughs> oh God. Oh shit. Oh, so <laughs> dark. It's a downward spiral. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, Brywing uh, came out and uh, nice to now when he dives deep. He's uh, going to be able to do it with less mitigation if he does it frequently. So he's really got to pick his spots a little bit more. I'm glad we managed to get dives deep in here on, on episode 69. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is going to be like the dirtiest show ever. Uh-huh. He's got to pick his spots when he dives <laughs> yeah. deep. Do you oh, think man, Gangster has a dick? Dive. No. I heard the word dick in there somewhere. Robot well, dick? Wait, wait, wait. More importantly, does Robocop have a dick? No. 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 no probably yeah. not. It's, it's so illogical about Robocop. Maybe, wait, the maybe they built him a robot dick. Oh, that could <laughs> be. Maybe he has a oh. cyborg penis with like pneumatic piston pumping action. <laughs> he doesn't even have to move in pistons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pistons? Sure it, it vibrates well, probably. I think I've know? seen a video of us with that in it already. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of uh, like. definitely made one. It could, like a, it, it could be like it could be like an ex machina where like she has female parts even though she's a robot. So I don't know actually. Yeah. Oh. You know. I feel like it's easier to make female parts than it is male parts on a robot. Why? I mean, I feel oh, like male parts are fairly that. mechanical. Well, a female part. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just feel like a female parts easy. You just put a a hole. <laughs> it's- <laughs> but you gotta have a specific like feel uh, well, is that hole. is that all you require to 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 consummate the act? Well, <laughs> Matt, sometimes a circular you hole. Just look for like a hole in a fence or something. <laughs> like <laughs> Jesus. All right, Christ. Matt. So here's what you do: you b- get a towel and a Pringles can, right? Oh wow! <laughs> this is gonna get structural. Get, get a rubber tell. band. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> And a big gallon yeah. of KY jelly. And then tell me it's the same. Yeah. Oh, man. This is like... You wow. got to wet the towel, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. You can spit on it a little bit so you're not going <laughs> dry. Spit on it, though. You definitely don't want to go in dry. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Oh, hold on. Here is the Robotop penis. Oh, <laughs> Robotop wow. penis? What? what? This is, this is, <laughs> no, no, just oh, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. joke. That looks like a hey. slim oh. flashlight. Exactly. Yeah. Just That's a safe. faucet, right? Yeah. It's a faucet, <laughs> man. Hey, why why has Robocop got a gonzo penis? <laughs> 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 All right, after this break, we'll come back with uh, hand grips as well as uh, talking <laughs> hand about... Hand grips. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse grips. <laughs> Give the wrong impression with uh, that. Everyone knows a 69 is all about avoiding hand grips. Exactly. Uh, it's actually, about good positioning so that you don't have to worry about your hand position. <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, man. That should be a whole segment onto itself. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> The next clip is from the only scripted part of the Gankbridge Squad show where the Gankbridge Squad lost a bet to the Nexus Trolls and had to read the dialogue they wrote. So this past Saturday, we played in the Creators of the Storm tournament. And so well, I won. It was, it oh, was so, yeah, so yeah, so uh, uh, I did Bacon, Old Backpack, and uh, Tower Baron played, <laughs> as well as Albeard from BlizzPro. And uh, we had a bet with the Nexus Trolls, and uh, we lost. And uh, But anyway, I wanted to take a, a quick step backwards before we talk about the the tournament, because there's something very serious that both uh, Bacon and I want to address. So I'll go ahead and I'll give it over to Bacon right now. Yeah, sure thing, Matt. So as many of you know, since we talked about it last show, I recently made it into Grandmaster. What you may not have realized that... What you may not have realized that I wasn't being entirely honest <laughs> about how I got there. <laughs> That's so weirdly structured. Okay. Yeah. We thought it would make for a pretty funny segment on the show if I gave Tower Baron access to my account and throw him to the Wolves in Hero League and record him getting dominated by other Masters players. Funny thing is, turns out Tower Baron is fucking better at this game than we thought. Okay, well, We've been pretty damn hard on the guy, but I think he may actually be stuck in MMR hell because he's literally played all of my games for me so far this season, and he's dominated with a 67% win rate. I guess we probably owe Tower of Aaron an apology. It's quite okay. It's quite okay, guys. I'm, We're I'm used sorry. To it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just flushed right now. So. Yeah, so if you watch You're the game... fucking up the script! <laughs> 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 so uh if if you watch the games actually uh Tower Baron is the reason why we didn't get why we why we didn't lose O three 3 in all the games. So uh because his Uther player was was constantly on point, never missed a stun yeah, and, and always got a heal right when we needed it at all times. Yeah, and mostly Bacon's variant really held us back. That's the really problem until we lost. And your variant's pretty rough too. I think we need to talk about your mechanics, Bacon. Okay, I guess we. Sh- I think I think we should move on. I think we can all agree that Bacon's not nearly as good as we thought, and honestly, probably shouldn't be in Grandmaster anymore. And that Tower Baron has surpassed. He's no longer a bronze type player. He's actually a gold type player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you guys are reading this in a straight face. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Pat. Uh, I also have some news to say to you guys. It it kind of hurts to say this, but. Uh... It's my last appearance on the show. So after losing that, I had to kind of reconsider my life decisions, and I don't want to be in Abu Dhabi anymore. I'm going to Tibet. I need to reconcile all that's gone wrong. And Abu Dhabi has been a very, very rough place for me, so I need to do some soul searching. You know what's funny? That actually could have been true like a year ago. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh, whoa, that's All right, you don't want to get or you, you had the uh, oh come on, the bad bird, man. I'm, I'm bringing that up. It's too he, close he, to home. Uh, he could yeah, set fire to himself like All one right. of those monks protesting. Yeah, it's a uh, All it's right, this. fine. Go There's ahead, Bacon. About me in it. Hold up. That's such bullshit. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it's serious. After losing so bad to you know people who are as Dominant and professional as Nets' trolls, we have to. <clears throat> After what? We are the worst at this, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Old Black Pack talked to me about this before the show, and I think it's for the best. Uh, I too was feeling pretty down last week after getting slapped around by the trolls. 
it turns out that they are not only better than this at, at Heroes of the Storm, oh, but they are also much smarter, better looking, and I'm pretty sure they have bigger penises than we do. The end. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That was totally a naturally, natural conversation. <laughs> I can't believe you played so well. Sentence four times in a row and got it wrong all four times. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You kept okay. going back trying to fix it, and it kept getting worse. <laughs> who, who the hell says they are in common parlance? Uh, like, what are you, Commander Data? <laughs> <laughs> Part of, the, part of the bet of losing to the Nexus Trolls required us to say say a comment on our show, and we just did that. Jigglymuff joins the show in episode 72 and talks about his love for Zarya. Well, and also thank you to Jigglymuff for answering the call on Discord, literally, actually, and uh, for uh, joining us on short notice to uh, co-host this week. Yeah, well, I'm a bona fide superstar now, so you guys are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, a few hundred people are going to listen to you. You're definitely a superstar now. Uh, you know, I have, a, I have a little fan base of my own. You know. uh, is your mom part of that fan base? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is. She is. She is. <laughs> not deny one of the many you. female fans right, l- listen if you want me to tell her to unsubscribe from the channel i'll do it tell her to uh, rate and review us yeah, that'd be that'd be really really uh yeah really funny that'd be very helpful she'll be like oh thank you for having having my boy on your podcast i feel my he's such a good boy yeah <laughs> i'm a good young little boy yeah <laughs> aren't i he just tries so hard but I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you uh, brightened his day. <laughs> oh, yeah. you were on there with... Here's a 50 for your efforts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's his coin uh, jar. Whatever. His bank. <laughs> coin jar. Coin I jar. told her I was going on to the vegan gank bushes today, mm. and she didn't know what I was talking about. Mm. But. <laughs> to marry, huh? I'm trying to think. Yeah, to marry him. Huh. But, uh, you know, Toronto's with Malfurion, so don't want to get in the middle of that. You get rooted. I'm going to go with Zarya. <laughs> I, I like to get Dude. rooted every now and then. Zarya. Yeah, oh. like, you know. Fuck it. To ma- see, being married is completely different than just, like, fucking them. Um, I'd probably, probably just go with Jaina. It's really good eye candy. You know, to bring it around everywhere, so I'd just go with Jaina. Oh, you go. Kind of what, what's off. that? Uh, See, you don't know the what's that skin she has a midsummer night's nice veil one or whatever. Yeah, she's kind of a traitor though. Oh. Well, she's not a traitor, but she's kind of a. Uh, she's not as nice as you would think she is. I know. You read all what, of the lore uh, on her. Well, it's either her or uh, Tracer. It's one of the two. Tracer. Tracer. Yeah. <laughs> Come that's, on, man. That's like a thing. If you've ever, <laughs> hey man, she's I don't a... get why so many people are stuck on her. She's a spinner. She's... That's why she's a spinner. She's got oh, no booty. <laughs> she's Dude, got that anything, accent. Though. What about Diva? No, fuck yeah. that shit. Gross. Diva's a little bit. It's like you're Matt flirting with like Asian women. <laughs> well, you're flirting with like jailbait almost. You know, almost Diva's... isn't jailbait though. I mean, if it, if it's over the line, it's over the line, baby. Oh, uh, the uh, voice they pair up with, and I think they said in her story she was a championship um, gamer, gamer like in her teens or something, and then and then turned to the Nexus or something. So it's, yeah, it's in all her teens, line. but she's probably like in legal. her twenties or something. You know, she's in her twenties. I don't think so. I don't know. She's at least in like her late teens. She's uh, not gonna I, be like a. A fourteen-year-old crime fighting on the world level. <laughs> I, I I would not. I would not. Oh, yeah, you're, whatever. You're a lion sack. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm more of a, of a Lyra person. Oh, uh, what, what about Nova? Oh. Nova hasn't even been mentioned. Nova, nah, Nova's a skank, man. The tower oh, wants to she get that bush so ganked. <laughs> you can't keep track of her. Yeah. Tower wants Valera to come and gank that bush one time. Shit. Valera is dark and mysterious. You know, it's, that's kind of sexy. I know. Yeah. Like, so I'd rather have Sylvanas, but 
So uh, she's was, undead. She's, she's gonna undead. be kind of cold. Yeah. I like it cold. <laughs> it's yeah. cold and frigid. It's, it's yeah. Probably rank down there, dude. Yeah. Hey, hey man, you got no like, lube, man. There's no lubrication. Don't worry about it. Probably smell dead. like yeah. Korean, like Asian food or something. I can do it. Hey, go, go, go exotic and go aerial. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, well. She's wearing a mask, right? Like a faceplate or something. That's gross. <laughs> you could go. Wait, like is it? Is it actually with, uh, your face? Furry with Lily. Oh, okay. <laughs> that. <laughs> you I'll, got a furry. I'll wear, I'll wear a Shen outfit just for her. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys? Actually- <laughs> <laughs> Hero Fizzo joins the show for the first time in episode seventy-four, talking about Saskatoon and its berries. Hero, uh, tell tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and where they can find your uh, your work and so forth. Yeah, so my name is Hero Physio. I'm, uh, I guess I will be the resident disgraced grandmaster. That was way back in, I think, season one. Uh, still unplaced right now, so maybe I'll be the unplaced player. That's I, me. I do yeah, a little... That's me. You can't do that. That's me. <laughs> oh, that's you. Oh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, uh, I do a lot of chair league casting, uh, amateur caster right now. Just started streaming Twitch affiliate. Uh, I make a lot of content. I just got into casting the HGC Open as well. Done a little bit of work for Heroes Hype. And so you can find all my content uh, over on my channel. It's kind of nerdy. Uh, I do a lot of analysis. Uh, really just enjoy the deeper strategy of the game and always keeping things positive. So. Uh, I don't know how I found myself here with this. Yeah, group. I was going to ask you, like, nerdy, well thought out strategies. I don't know why you're on. Well, I don't know why you agreed to come on the show then. <laughs> I know why. Very, very little very of what we deep, do is well thought out. Deep analysis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very well, it's, deep. it's very deep. It's yeah. very deep. I choose very, my very words carefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whenever we say deep on this show, we mean penetration. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Canadian By man. the way, Hero Physio, what's your, uh, what's your background? What are you? <laughs> wow. Uh, your ancestry. This, this is a green What's screen. It's a. Uh, <laughs> what race are you? What a piece type of cloth? Of, kind of, that's, are yeah, you hanging up on my. Uh, what kind no, of Asian I'm, are you? <laughs> uh, mostly Chinese. Mostly oh, Chinese. But I, but I was born here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So Chinese Canadian, as prairie as it gets. As prairie? All right. We're, we live out on the prairies here. This is the breadbasket of Canada, if you yeah. want to call it that. Saskatoon you- is the Paris of the prairies. It's a beautiful place. Wow. Come visit anytime. <laughs> wow. There's a lot in that statement there. You're out <laughs> on the prairies of Canada, but you're the yes. Paris of the prairies. So you're, like, you're I think, I think you're, you're setting plural. yourself up for disappointment. <laughs> yeah. you know? like, and you're also when I Google this Greece, place, it better be fucking beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Hero, um, thanks for being good sports. You know, oh, yeah. a bunch of oh, this is fun. <laughs> like I said, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to add this, but this is my first podcast, and you never forget your first. Oh, okay. Oh, so, no. <laughs> oh. This is actually a lot of fun. You have to go I, as I deep invite, as possible if it's your yeah. first. Yeah. Now, when you say you're from Saskatoon, do people just think you're pronouncing Saskatchewan wrong? Nope, nope. They know it just because just because we have the Saskatoon berries, and you know those are pretty popular. I think if you're if you're are a fan of food, really? yeah, oh yeah, Saskatoon berries. I've never heard of these. Saskatoons, come down, try them out. Wait, by the way, didn't visitors. you talk about this berries? I'm pretty sure, David. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like, pretty sure that I've been about 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 berries, I remember right? you were talking about like blue balls and shit. Yeah, something about blueberries or something. Yeah, and equating them to balls. Did you guys ever put it, put them in lemonade? I, I feel like we've had this conversation once before. <laughs> they yeah, dude. Yeah. Wait, 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 what, what are you drinking, like Byron? What are you drinking? Right. Uh, we're done. We're oh, done. What am I? Oh, what are you there's drinking, there's Byron? A... America. Okay. Amer- okay. Yeah. I understand where that's coming from now. Yeah. Okay. Well, real, when I was in Alaska, yeah. they would Dang make they had these giant blueberries, and they would put them in lemon, and it was delicious. That's why I asked. You, you said that before. <laughs> I, I definitely remember you said that. Oh, yeah. All right, fine. Podcast, Just make so. fun of my short-term memory loss, all right? In episode 83, Zexrus learns you can spin the characters and make them dizzy. Oh, I, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Hold on. Let's, let's change it up. 
<laughs> yeah, where's the, where's the student? The stu- there we go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh no. There it is. Uh, there the fucking quiver's blocking it. There it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Spin around, make her dizzy. Oh, yeah, bend over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Me neither. You can yeah, make him dizzy? Yeah. Yeah, of I course didn't you know either. Dizzy. Okay. You didn't know that? <laughs> No, I've never made her dizzy no, before. I've got to go now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him get to Masters. You're going to call him out? Before he calls himself a Masters level. He's calling him out. What happens if he does it? What, what are you going to do? I'm going to say congratulations. No, no, no. no. We, we, need, <laughs> we need steaks. We need steaks. I'll give, I'll give him fried rice. Uh. <laughs> Oh, God. The best gift you can give an Asian. <laughs> I'll give him a gift card to Panda Express, <laughs> and, and then I'll send I'll, I'll send that along with a picture of Chen and Lily. That way, he has friends to eat with. I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, man, you need to give him like a Hooters gift card too. Just send him some bamboo seeds. I <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> what do you even do with bamboo seeds? Uh, do you eat them? Throw some bamboo. Throw some bamboo. Some bamboo. All right. All right. Um, all right. So, do, Wait, do, was that racist? I don't think that was racist. No, right? no, no, no. You're Asian. You, you can't be racist. If Scott said it, it's racist. No. No, here's the thing. Mystic's a great player, obviously. I've played with him a couple of times. He's amazing. He just hasn't done it yet, though. Mm. He's like a virgin. Yeah. Uh, In episode 85, Thorn from the Lagging Balls podcast joins the show, Try Not to Get a Bad Case of Gank Bush. Bring condoms today. So Always, you don't catch any friend. Gank Bush. Oh! oh! I listened to that last episode. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you'll probably and be infected. Need, <laughs> when I was need an extra long it, condom, we'd cover that bush with the, <laughs> the condom. <laughs> Got a specialized uh, deep base condom. <laughs> We're gonna put like a teepee over it and then <laughs> yeah. have like sectioned it off. <laughs> Can I start with like some parchment paper and then like a yeah like a, some some Ziploc. <laughs> Just keep going, like man. A full body wrap. Just wrap your entire body in saran wrap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right. So when I was listening to the right. podcast, like yeah. you said the co-host's name, I actually thought you were saying her name was Fist. I was like, no. is that is that like a name that she picked or did someone give that to her? I was like, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> no, it's Fist. Uh, Fist. Like Am- like Amethyst. Amethyst. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I heard the episode. I actually had to look you guys up. Well, how I always do. I want to see what you guys look like. So I just went to web browser and images. You know, save search Ooh, off and careful. looked up black and balls. <laughs> Ooh, and it's uh, there's just pictures of fists. It's like no pictures of you at all. Oh yeah, well you know <laughs> one like of us awkward. is hot. So uh-huh. yeah, let's be fair. That's why I like my images everywhere on on the Discord. And anyway, let's move on. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, you put all those images up yourself. What the hell are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. In the next clip, we talk about our experience at BlizzCon 2017. I got you those raisins, though. I smuggled in those raisins, and you lived on raisins and for fries. the entire time you were there. <laughs> you could eat fries. I yeah, eat he fries. was like, I, eat, I know Old Duck Act didn't really want fries, but he was just so hungry. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny. What, like, though, what if though, it's fried in a different kind of oil? Would that affect it, you? Yeah, it, it, then I get, and I die. And he dies. You know, it's funny. Like lo- those little thing of fries were like nine hundred calories. That's crazy. It was like eight hundred. It's like eight hundred. No, it was like, no, no, no. It it was, it, no, no. Like tower burn, tower burn. Basically made of poison. It was eight ninety five. <laughs> Like, eight ninety five. They, they use marketing. Pro- they use marketing on you because like, in your mind you thought you thought it was eight hundred, but it's actually nine hundred. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's like oh, it's still a shit ton of calories. Eight hundred. That's like more that's low. like without the ketchup, and you're not yeah. gonna have the fries like plain. <laughs> you have ketchup on that thing, so you're pushing yeah. a thousand. And this is just a cup of fries. It's not even. You have like a little tray of it's fries. It's a small cup. It's a I small know. This is cup a hot podcast, you guys. It's really it's hot like hot fries, two hundred calories. Hey. If yeah, someone's like listening fries. to this like tomorrow or whenever day in the afternoon, they're going to get fries now. So we're going to help them out. The next clip from episode 89 is one of the most heated debates we've ever had on the show between Old Backpack and Bacon over whether you should play passively or aggressively when learning a new hero. And what Numpty had said is when you first get an assassin like that, first you play them as if you're Rainer, so really far back and just you know be as safe as possible. Then play that ranged assassin like you're like, like your Kerrigan, like super melee and find out how far you can go without dying to really, really, really figure out just by 
you know, being as dressed as possible and as passive as possible, where to find that line for that hero? Because Zul'jin has no escape. Oh, I, you, I disagree with that. Oh, you don't with that, that line of thinking. No. What, they just be, once you once you're comfortable, once you're comfortable with the character, you should YOLO as far as you can to see how far you can push your hero. Yeah, and yeah, that's scale what I'm back yeah. from that. That's, that's what, what I do all the if time. If you if you play <laughs> passively, you're just gonna play passively. Yeah, I wouldn't say what is, what is play passively. I, I'd say you go aggressive, and if you die, you dial it back. You gotta you gotta yeah. test your limits to find out what you can get away with. If you're playing passively, you know you're gonna get away with shit all game. Like I, that just irks me when I see you know the gray man who's you know top damage and one death, but it's like. All you did was, you know, you did your little like Q build and never went into melee form. <laughs> like, you got, sometimes you gotta get in there and get your hands dirty. <laughs> and you know, if if it didn't work out, you know, you say, okay, I gotta dial it back a little bit. Yeah, you know that Grayman that dies really hard and then he ends up dying stupidly. Oh, well, mm-hmm. 50, 60 games from now, when you've played that many Grayman games, he's gonna be, you know, doing plays and actually getting kills off of those things. So. I mean, you just got to die to learn how far you can go. The biggest thing I have a problem with that with that tip is it's just, it's just passive play styles. And you know all those moments where the enemy runs away at 10% health or 5% health, and you're like, shit, I sh- could have gotten them. Well, that's why there are well, tendencies uh, and uh, patterns you learn over time. Well, exactly, but you have to make that mistake to see it happen. Say, oh, shit, I played too passively, and then realize it, and then learn from it. No, 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 the couple times we played together the, past couple, the the couple times we played together the past couple of weeks, that was my biggest problem with you, didn't I say? Like yeah, you, we, we missed that. a lot of opportunities because you as the tank, also the initiator, were playing too passively. You ha- I mean the name of the game is ganks and rotations, especially in the early game, and trying to get a pick. And by playing passively and thinking like that, you do not win the game. You just lose slowly. But Those I'm not the games saying I hate to lose. I'm saying with your heroes, <laughs> play the spectrum of YOLO to passive to figure out where you no. need to be. Learn his QWE, learn his talents, and then just go YOLO. And then try to... So basically, I mean, Bacon and Scott are saying, go to the extremes and dial it back, while old Backpack is saying... You know, it's go be very more passive and then slowly. It's, you know, get to the it's point a learning yet. curve. No, 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 it, no, it's no, much no, 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 no. It, it's <laughs> it's much easier to learn what you can get away with and be effective with going too far and dialing it back than starting at the back line and stepping forward because your steps forward are going to be much slower and. You're basically going to be more passive to the point where if you die, it's just like, oh shit, I better dial it back. Where it's just like, you know what? So, sometimes you are going to die no matter what you do. Sometimes dying is the best move. Where if you're playing passive and you die, you're like, oh, I should have paid, played more passive and ran away with uh, my whole team dying and just me surviving and just like, yeah, I got some damage in though. No, so I'm not saying start from YOLO, work back, go passive, work forward. I'm not saying that. I'm saying play YOLO, play passive, and go, in, go, go find the middle in between those two. Instead of doing no, yellow, don't and play back, passive. If you work both, then work both Just sides. Don't play into the passive. Center. Playing passive is e- ne- every game I've played where I was carried by a grandmaster <laughs> who's ten times better than me. I always had trouble keeping up with him because he was always attack, attack, attack. Always, whatever we're doing with the gank, he's always on the his next step. Like, and I'm always <laughs> trying to catch up to what he's trying to do. So you just. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you can't play passively in this game if you want to get better. Yeah, the the only time you're playing passive is if you're waiting for a power spike to where you can play aggressive. You yes. know, like there there are some teams where it's just like our pre-10 game is terrible. You know, you got a variant on your team. 
we don't have a real tank until level 10. Those, those I mean, I struggle with this because I love playing aggressive, <laughs> but those are the only times where you should be playing passive is to where you're waiting for a power spike to where you could be aggressive. So this has became a talk of passive versus aggressive play, which I'm talking about. When learning a new hero and how to play that hero, you have to find the limits of your character. <laughs> different, different you, you don't find there. the limit of your character by playing passive. But you do. You realize you have played too passive, realizing you can't do this if it's bad play. No, no you, 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 play, you, when you play passive, you're, <laughs> all, you say, oh, this, this, what I'm doing, I do a lot of damage and it worked and I'm not dying. That's good, right? And when, exactly. In reality, if you, if you played more aggressive, you could have done so much more. That you, that playstyle is a uh, pad your numbers and look good playstyle, and that actually get things done in the game playstyle. Yeah, that's the raise your MMR in the next uh, <laughs> patch playstyle, but you're not actually helping your team win playstyle. But I that, agree with you in that, but you have to know what passive is and realize that it's bad. If you're always playing aggressive, you don't know what passive is. You have to understand the oh. spectrum. But if you're talking here's, about here's, passive, you want to learn that passiveness is bad. Good. Learn it right now. Passiveness is bad. There you go. There you go. <sighs> but okay. you, never all right. mind. All right, all right. Uh, it's uh. No, uh, look. Wait, 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 popcorn's done. Let me go get to the everyone microwave. I've yeah, looked exactly. up to. <laughs> everyone I've looked. Everyone I've looked up to in this game has played aggressive as fuck every time, and Scott. He plays too aggressively, but he's also <laughs> learned to tone back. He, but exactly. he's fine. Scott plays too he's aggressively. He's gotten better. He has to dial it back. That dial back he, is a spectrum. And, and then he he dials it back. He's improved. He's won more games. Now he's masters. Like it, it's so he became more passive. I, I have a counter argument, Bacon. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't start off passive, and the thing is, I didn't say start off passive. <laughs> I said play. I know, but you people. Yeah, but the words out of my saying, mouth. Yeah, but you're saying start off passive and move forward. No, 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 no. You have well, to no, no, no. Here's here's what you're saying, Pat. You're playing play a good play style, uh, also play a bad play style. Why would you even play the bad play style to begin with? You know what Just bad play is. the better play style. Yeah. Yeah, but you have better is relative to bad. So what is bad? Passive. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You have to know it. That is the worst play style. That is a play style I cannot stand. The the passive losing slowly play style. It's I, like all right, I don't right. even play that. I will I bang my head against style. the wall. I'm okay. dying uh, ten deaths right. in a game right. Right. while the, the rest of my team's right. just like, you know what? We're just gonna lane and you know, maybe maybe <laughs> they'll just run one at a time into our team so we can get ganks and I'll just try and force shit and it won't work, but I'm just like, fuck it, at least I'm trying to do something. <laughs> all right. I mean We've uh-huh. had this conversation before, Pat. This is also my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw it out there. This is my biggest problem with you and, and your play style. Oh, here we go. Is uh, we've had several discussions already saying you need to be more aggressive. Right. Well, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I let, know. Let, let, me, let me let me step in. You gotta remember, Bacon, that he's playing on like pretty bad lag, though. But bad lag doesn't prevent you pr- from pressing Q as Diablo on the enemy. You just do it. Where, 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 where do we get? Yeah, when, <laughs> do you when you make a sandwich? Do you start from oh. the outside in, or do you work from bottom up? All right. What does that have to do with odds? <laughs> yeah, man, what are we talking about? Yeah. I'm very the bottom slice is aggressiveness, and then you put layers on top, <laughs> and then the last what? This slice is a of bread is that depends how you like your sandwich. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't you eat all layers at the same time? Is it, is you do. You eat all like layers. Eat, the I, when crafting the sandwich, guys, not when you eat it. The, the, uh, the biggest question okay. is: the biggest question is, do you toast your bread before you eat it? Yes. That's the subway oh, question. Yeah. Yes. 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 Subway. Depends subway sucks. You. You're gonna pay that extra dollar to get it toasted. <laughs> and yeah. But you don't, Subway you, stuff. don't don't eat it Subway. It's bad for you. The the, the bread is made out of rubber. Chipotle to bring all your dates. Oh, Chipotle. A Chipotle. Yeah, bring your dates to Chipotle. It's a great idea. Oh, those only those only the hood rats. Oh. That's Tower Baron's uh, date spot. His first date spot where he That's goes right. to press the lady. <laughs> So don't worry, guys. I got this. I got your meal. Don't worry. You can get anything you want. 
And she yeah. makes up a lie and says that she doesn't have her wallet. She has her wallet. She drove here. <laughs> no guacamole because that's just, two bucks extra. She just wants me to pay for her. Meal Can we split bullshit. the guacamole? Can I get half and she get the other half? Can we do that? <laughs> All right. Do you All really right. need a drink? Seriously. In episode 92, Bags from the Trolls GG Network joins us for the show. Yeah, no, Can you I, do your uh, streams? I have a little post-it next to my monitor that says, play as if uh, my mom is playing with me. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't mom. Yeah, so I don't really do that. Hit that mosh pit, mom. What the fuck? Body block. Body block. <laughs> go, go back, back to bronze. Bitch. Well, go I would say that. Bronze, I would say bro. that, though. I would say go back to Be aggressive. Bronze. So then I tried to find a co host and I couldn't find a co host. Uh, and then Bacon's like, well, does that mean you can come on the show? And I was like, well, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I've been I, trying to get you on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of. I don't want to sell it short. Yeah, I have it. It hasn't lined up. I've been. I love listening to the show. It's one a yeah. I, I, serious one. I think it, it's my probably my favorite show to listen to. So Bags is like, I can do nothing or go on the show. I kind of want to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I heard. I know exactly. <laughs> yeah, I can stay home and jack off, or I can go on the show. Uh-uh. I'm gonna stay home. Do I want to chill out or listen to five grown ass dudes bicker at each other for an hour and a half? Yeah. <laughs> what the Short fuck is so do, by the way? So do, man. So do, man. So do. It's coming. Yeah. Very hard I can't today. believe that. I, I couldn't believe that you had that ready to go for the show tonight after after talking about it last week. Yeah. Well, Bacon's the tryhard of it's the. A, uh... It's not bad. It, but it, but it's pretty sweet. Like. Mm. In episode 98, we discussed the profiling of Final Fantasy VII. Congratulations to uh, Hero Physio, the coach of uh, LFM. He is our uh, favorite uh, Canadian Asian. And uh, they won their first game on Sunday. Yay! So. Hey, congrats. Yeah. I think they won it pretty handily, too, right? Not that Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, Fringe, Fringe, do you know where that's from? Nice. Wait, Fringe, do you know where that's from? The British show? Uh, the British movie? No! That, that <laughs> no! He, does, he knows nothing about games. He knows nothing. nothing. It's what is from it? Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII. VII. Oh. Oh, God. That's right after you win your little random battle or whatever. Mm. Oh, all right. No, I don't know anything about that game. You win an encounter, and then that's the victory thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember old Backpack playing hours on end, like just killing chocobos or something like that for XP. You don't kill chocobos. Or whatever. No. Yeah, you ride right. chocobos. You ride right. yeah. chocobos. But uh, he was golden like saucer, farm. man. But Go to Golden you, Saucer. You do for uh, random encounters. There's a chocobo. The there's a chocobo like mountain. The game heroes. Uh, it's the golden cock. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the closest thing. Yeah. Do you guys ever realize? Cock. <laughs> you guys ever realize in Final Fantasy VII it was kind of racist because they made <laughs> the darker chocobo the fastest one. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? <laughs> there was the, well, second fastest. The, no. the black yeah, one was, it was the, the second fastest. <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't. The golden one you, you got to get, but when you like when you just did the chocobo race, there was only like the black one and it was the fastest. <laughs> and the yeah. guy with the hat wrote yeah, it. That's true. That Joe, was anyway. Joe back to back to hat. LFM. <laughs> <laughs> in episode one hundred, Fringe talks about an old flame. I occasionally log in just to make sure you, you guys don't forget about me. Oh, I'm like that ex girlfriend, you know, who like shows up every once in a while. It has sex with you one time just to make sure that you stay traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys have never had one of those? Well, I have many times. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on from that. So um, This guy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, I had to say, I had to say uh, goodbye to Pegasus the other day, but uh, that's another story. That was Pegasus. So anyway, let's move Wait, on. you fucked a horse? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was, that's what I took it as. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, a horse too. wearing cosplay. That is some Daniel Radcliffe shit right there. 